What's going on in South Punta Gorda? A lot. We're going to talk about it today. Yo, I'm Adrian, longtime Florida realtor, and I'm here to help you get your Florida life. Happy Wednesday, everyone. If you're new here, new videos come out every Wednesday. You can subscribe to follow along. Today we are going to talk about South Punta Gorda. In my mind, you're in one of two camps watching this video. Either you have no idea what's coming or you have an idea that there is so much going on in South Punta Gorda, you can't even imagine keeping up with it all. And let me tell you, I'm with you on the second camp. I am trying to keep up with it all and it's a lot, but I'm gonna start with a little, you know, what's there now, what we're looking at, what the changes are going to be. And then I'm gonna, of course, relate it to what I think it will do in the real estate market. We're gonna look at two areas specifically. We're gonna look at Tucker's Grade and Burnstore Road. Most of the time is gonna be spent on Burnstore Road. I'm gonna start with Tucker's Grade just to give you an idea of what's going on there. Let's look at a map. Tucker's Grade is a road that connects US 41 and I-75. Even if you're unfamiliar with the area, when you think of any road that connects two major thoroughfares to US 41 and then I-75, you picture, I think, a lot of things there, hotels, restaurants, you know, some sort of exit. Currently, there's nothing. However, that is about to change. A couple of years ago, a company bought a big section of land there. They have space for 1,389 residential units with 354 in active development currently, 38 acres of commercial, which is zoned for hotels, restaurants, retail. What's happening right now is Toll Brothers, which is a production builder, has started building there. So last I heard, they expected to start selling the homes this month. Lennar, which is another production builder, you may have heard of them, is also going in there. When I called Lennar, they were a little bit uh, more ambiguous on when they were going to start selling, but June 24 was the month I got. We'll see if those start going up. Right now, it is a big patch of dirt, but you can see on the... Toll Brothers website, there's gonna be pool, pickleball, it's gonna be a planned development community. There is no plans that I know of currently for the hotel or the restaurant. However, when we go back to that thinking of, okay, this is between US 41 and I-75, and now there's gonna be a ton of homes there, it does make sense in the next few years we will see hotels and restaurants right there. Let's look forward to that. Now let's move on to Burnstore Road. Burnstore Road connects Punta Gorda with Cape Coral. We are gonna look at the area that's in Punta Gorda. I don't go down to Cape Coral much. We're gonna really focus on Punta Gorda. Let's start by looking at what's in the Burnstore Corridor now. If you travel down from US 41 and you go south, I'm gonna tell you several of these communities are named Burnstore. Burnstore Meadows, Burnstore Villages, Burnstore Lakes. A store apparently built down in the 1700s, and we got very hooked on that when we named these communities. I refer to them by the last word often. It's Burnstore Meadows. I call it the Meadows because it gets very confusing. I will, if you hear me doing that, that's because all the burnt stores give people a headache. I have sold in all of these communities many times. I know them very well. If you have questions about them, just let me know. I will do neighborhood videos coming if you're following that series. I definitely intend on hitting all the neighborhoods I'm gonna talk about now. And of course, as the new neighborhoods open up, we will do that as they open. Here you have Burnt Storm Meadows in the top. Right under that, you have uh, Tropical Golf Acres and South Punta Gorda Heights. And then there is a big swath of land with nothing currently. And then we have Heritage Landing. Heritage Landing is, an, is a golf neighborhood. It's a gated community. It has a very interesting history, which I will get into someday, but just know it is one of the newest communities in our area. It opened about two years ago. They're still building in there. 
You go down a little bit further, you have Pirate Harbor on your right, this waterfront community, and then you have right south of that Burnt Store Lakes. Across the street, you have Burnt Store Village. And then south of Burn Store Lakes, you have Burn Store Marina. And that's about as far as I'm going to go. A lot of the marina is actually in Lee County, but I sell in the marina all the time. I know it quite well. Again, if you have questions about the neighborhood specifically, just reach out. And now I'm going to tell you a little history of the road very quickly. A little personal fun fact about me. I have been skydiving, I've been bungee jumping, I've done all that silly stuff in my, in my days. And I will tell you this, five years ago, when I had to go show property in Burns, on Burnstore Road, I would be driving down there, tans 10 and 2, <laughs> focused on the road. I would think to myself, if customers were behind me or if they were in the car, I would think, what are they thinking as we're driving down this completely insane road? One lane each way, no shoulder, big trucks. If you have a, a road like that in your area, you know what I'm talking about, where you think, who, who designed this? It was designed before there was much here. This is what I understand. And then they spent years expanding it. It goes all the way down to Cape Coral. They started south they expanded that and then they've done it in pieces they finally got the biggest piece closest to Pun and Gorda done about two years ago and I remember when it first opened I saw a friend of mine the day it opened till to four lanes I saw him and I said wow Bruce the Road is looking really good and he said yes and many people who had their plans ready to go when the four lanes opened that we already know we have to expand it to six lanes. Now it looks, it's fine now, like it's great to drive down now, but just know that they are already planning because of all the development I'm about to talk about to expand this road to six lanes and people were just chomping at the bit, waiting for them to expand that road because there was so much empty land to there. There was so much to be developed, but nobody wanted to develop it when nobody would drive down it. But now it's gorgeous. Now it's, you know, it's, it's a luxury road to drive down. Now it's brand new, four lanes, it's great. It does end, all that luxury ends right before the marina. And there are plans, it's endlessly talked about to expand that too. I don't know exactly when that's gonna happen. It is a big deal, it seems, to expand this road. It has taken, <laughs> taken a long time, long time coming. Let's look at all the development going on planned for Burnstow Road. And I want to thank the county. I actually reached out to them and said, can you give me, you know, do you have a map of all that's going on? And they sent me all this information. If you've never dealt with our county or our city government in Punta Gorda, let me tell you, I tell people all the time, just, just call the county, ask them. They're so helpful. So helpful. Thank you to them for sending me these maps. Okay. This map shows you all of the plans out there. Now, some of them are more gonna happen than further along the planning stage than others, but let's take a quick look. Everything in red is, is pretty much either happening or gonna happen. Right now, we have Heritage Landing in the red. That's already open. You can already buy property there. They're still building stuff in there. It's you can get new construction, you can get condos, you can get houses, lots of stuff in Heritage Landing. Just south of that is Heritage Station. That's Miranda Homes. They're building a planned community. It is already happening. There is ground broken there. I fully expect that to come along. And then the simple life up on top are tiny homes. I have personally never been in a tiny home. I'm kind of excited to see what they do. I don't know exactly when they are going to start or what what's happening there, but it is that is approved and ready to go. Committed developments, they are not quite finished, but the concepts are out there. They're applying for things, um, but you can see that there's a lot coming. And I do believe even if some of these fall through or they don't come all the way with this much planned one will fall apart and another will slide in there. You can see that there is a lot coming to South Punta Gorda. I wanted to show you this as well. 
What a lot of people in that area would like is more commercial development. We have all the red is zoned commercial already. Uh, in some of these spots, there are restaurants and uh, there's a little shopping plaza type thing with a pizza place and a seafood place down south. So we will see what comes next as far as more development in that way. The marina does have a restaurant. You can go and eat there. There's a little bit already there, but I would like to see more. Um, I know the planned developments, most of that is residential, but we'll see, you know, as they add in the Heritage Landing, it has a clubhouse. Uh, we'll see what they add in as far as places to eat. You can certainly go eat in the marina already. Typically, it's not like if you don't live in these planned communities, you can still go you know, eat and use their restaurants and that type of thing. In fact, they want you to. I've eaten in the, mar I don't live in the marina, but I've eaten there many times. It's quite nice to sit next to the boats and go to Cascade. Go check that out. Now, what do I think this will do to real estate? Again, I want to look back a little bit. Historically, when I would take people down there five years ago and we drive down this crazy road, it was tough. The communities down there are very pretty. It's very nice but you're driving out of town and there was nothing around. It was just empty space and you're on this terrible road. The minute they fixed the road, I heard fewer complaints. And as I say on this channel all the time with development, the people who come here don't know. If I never told you, even though when you drive down Burnster Road, road now, you might, it's a nice like new, there's no potholes, it's a new road. You wouldn't really think about it. You would just think, oh, this is road. You, you just drive down it. But if you knew the before, I mean, to this day, it's been open a couple of years. I drive down and I think, oh, this is much nicer. It changed the perspective of those neighborhoods because you could just drive right in there. The complaint I still sometimes get is that these communities feel far out. And I think that they feel far out because you drive along vacant land all the way down to wherever you're going. As that land fills in and as there is more in those communities, I think that it will build the reputation. It will make people feel more like they are part of something. And that's where people like to live. A lot of people say to me they wish they, they want a lot of space around their house, but they also want to be close to everything. And that's tough to get. You can still go rural. You go to East Punta Gorda. There's lots of rural land out there, but that's not what this area is it was ever really intended for as far as zoning goes. We are going to see that build up. That is what's going on in South Punta Gorda. I will keep you updated as more things come up. Again, it is a project to keep into, keep keep apprised of everything going on in South Punta Gorda. It is a very interesting area kind of the area that has been waiting kind of on the the gate to being developed forever and now the gates are open um of course if you have any questions just reach out or put them in the comments i will talk to you soon thanks for watching see you next week <music>